This is where I've been living since Thursday last week. Today is Tuesday or Wednesday, I don't know. And I'm planning on staying here for two more days. So I will have just about been living here for a whole week without paying rent. I'm parked right next to a cemetery. And as you can see, my Olympic rings is still hanging here <laughs> on the gate. In Spain, all the cemeteries and churches are locked up. Had this cemetery been in France, it wouldn't have been locked and I could have gone inside to uh, you know, respect the dead or whatever and get water. Cemeteries are great for water, but not in Spain. This is my view. Isn't it amazing? My cat has been loving this place. He has had so much fun. He likes to go into the farm fields and run around and you can see him jump like a rabbit over on the top of it. So you see the cat only periodically when he comes up above the fields and then he disappears down into the fields again. Kind of funny actually. I had to leave the last place in a hurry. My new location was in a dead alley. No people, no cars, no nothing. On the second day, the Spanish police shows up. Thankfully, they didn't ask me for my passport or start interrogating me like they usually do the Spanish police. However, they didn't like the fact that I had one leveling block beneath my front wheel to make the car more leveled. In Spain, they have forbidden wild camping. Of course, you're allowed to park a car, including a motorhome, but it becomes camping as soon as you use something like a leveling block. Technically, I believe they can even get you for wild camping if you have a door or window open. Anything that protrude outside the exterior of the car. And this includes something as simple as a leveling block. So the police showed up and said, I have to remove the leveling block. I was legally parked. I didn't bother anyone. I didn't throw any trashes anywhere. I wasn't blocking anyone's path. The only problem I see is the police asking me to remove the leveling block. This is just one incident I've had with the Spanish police. Every time I come to this country, it's the same old story. I get harassed by police pretty much wherever I go, except if I go far out into the countryside like here. I've been troubled by Spanish police so many times, I cannot count it. Portugal used to have the same idiot laws regarding wild camping and such. But to what extent it was exactly the same, I don't know. But they rolled them back, so you're definitely more free in Portugal. It really breaks my heart deeply, and I'm not kidding you. It really touches me when you have police show up. For what purpose, I don't know. I rolled off the leveling block, and I remained parked on that exact same spot. And to be honest, the car wasn't really unleveled to begin with. So to me, this time, it wasn't really a problem. <laughs> but the fact that you have armed police show up to treat a tourist like a criminal, and his offense was that he slept leveled. He had a leveling block beneath his wheel. There's a lot of countries that has very dumb laws when it comes to wild camping and motorhomes. This includes France and um, Netherlands and Italy and many, many more countries. But I've never had problems like this in any other country than Spain. Spain used to be a police state. They used to have a dictator. And something tells me that they never got that out of their blood, you know. They never, they never cleared their own history. What bothers me even more is that I don't think the police necessarily care either why they showed up there to begin with. Someone saw me and didn't like me being there, living free. So they called the police. And the police then feel this responsibility that they must go out to the situation because someone called them, right? 
And then they must tell me that this is the law, so please remove the leveling block. I don't think the police wanted to go out there. Who in his right mind calls the police on someone who has not caused a problem? Then the recipient of this call doesn't hang up, doesn't tell the call lead to go fuck off, but she dispatches local police. And two policemen inside their car obeyed the order, despite obviously they are now wasting tax money to go out and cause a problem. There was no problem to begin with, but they go out and cause a problem, wasting tax money to do so. I took the whole situation as a joke, to be honest, and I tried to argue with the police, but they didn't want to talk to me. In fact, they pretty much just left while I was still talking to them. And I believe they did that because they felt so ashamed. Nonetheless, they went out there, didn't they? They showed up at my home telling me, tonight I'm sleeping unleveled. <laughs> I'm perfectly legal. I'm perfectly fine parked where I am parked. I haven't done harm to anyone, but I have a leveling block beneath my wheel. What a crime. <laughs> There's so many aspects of this story here that I could push forward that just doesn't make any sense. Not only does it not make any sense, it's void of morals. It's breaking so many principles. Why we have laws to begin with. Police are supposed to serve society. Police are, police are supposed to solve real crime, aren't they? Right? I absolutely... I'm in a hurry to get to Portugal. But when I came to this place and I felt the tranquility and I understood right off the bat that I'm not going to see any people here at all. No cars, no people, no nothing. Yeah, I stayed. And I've been staying now for almost a week. <laughs> this was a really good parking. I could sit here forever and just enjoy the silence. But it's time to make food. And I pretty much ran out on food. But there is one food item that I saved for us to have as dinner tonight. See how empty my fridge is? There's like nothing in here. <laughs> it's empty. Here's what I saved. Vegan lasagne. Bought from Lidl. <laughs> Oh gosh, this is complicated. I'm going to make this lasagne even better by adding vegan cheese. I also bought this one from Lidl. And then I'm going to add this on top. This is also bought from Lidl. It's like a sandwich. <laughs> That's perfect. Super. Bam. So I put this on very low heat. Next, I'll simply add a plate to go on top of this. I trap all the heat inside of the pan, so this becomes like an oven. Cool. And this is the result. <laughs> this is what vegan lasagna looks like, with extra vegan toppings. <laughs> it's edible, that's for sure. Yeah, it works. I am positively surprised. Lidl is my new favorite store, I believe. I'm going to finish my meal, then I'm going to sit and work a little bit on my computer, then go to bed. I'll cut back to you when we leave this place. Uh, I just woke up every morning. <laughs> oh, this cat always thinks that I'm talking to him. 
Every morning when I wake up, the first thing that is on my mind is I need to get out of here. I need to start the car and I need to go. I originally planned to go north and do the north of Spain, but given my encounter with the Spanish police, I'm in a hurry to get out of this fucking shit whole country. It's time to go to a place more free, I think. <laughs> we shall see, <laughs> we shall see. So I planned a new route. We're going to go straight to Portugal in one line. <laughs> I really don't like Spain. I really don't like this country. Yes, Barsky, we're leaving. Vamos. Look, there's an, a paper, a note of some sort. What the hell? 17th of May, 2022. I mean, this is today, I think this is today. But this is all Spanish, I have no idea what this means. Okay, I'm just gonna put it back here. <laughs> That's so weird. It's all sealed up. Let's check out this door and see what, if we can get in here. Someone has really made a, a good effort here to keep people out. This is really, really weird. Why have they spent all of this energy to block us out from an abandoned building like this? I am walking in high grass right now. I really don't like to do that. Upset is it? <laughs> they have even put cement here to cover the window. Wow. What the hell are they trying to protect inside of this building? That's what I don't understand. See, every entry into the building, they have put up metal gates and completely blocked it off. It's just a random abandoned building. It's not like this is an abandoned nuclear site or military facility of some sort. It's just a random abandoned building. Just look at the effort they have done to keep people out. <laughs> Never mind, let's hit the road. I just went to Lidl and did some grocery shopping. And look what I got. Some kind of a weird mushroom mix, vegan chocolate, vegan fish fingers, vegan falafel, vegan tofu, sausage, gin, with some notes of licorice. And this bottle I just had to buy because it was so cheap. I paid five euros for this bottle of gin. So that makes it, I believe, into seven euros per liter. Even more vegan falafel. And of course, my new favorite, vegan lasagne. Mm. And when I paid at the cashier, she gave me a whole bunch of these. I think this is some kind of a plant, so I need to add water to this or something. Huh, we'll find out. And I also found the most weird tomatoes I have ever seen in my whole life. Flavor of 2022. I am staying here in uh, the middle of uh, Burgos, Spain just temporarily for one or two nights. This is a motorhome dedicated parking space. I almost laughed to death when I read a sign over here. Only in Spain, this is ridiculous. Taking out things such as chairs, blah, 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 awnings, is forbidden because that is considered camping laws which expressly, expressly ban free camping. 
<laughs> Failure to observe these rules will be punished. <laughs> that's, that's how welcome you are in Spain as a, as a motorhome tourist. I mean, it's unbelievable, unbelievable. This is a motorhome dedicated parking space with extra wide painted squares on the ground. So as you can see, I'm well within my space here and I have my awning out just a little bit to protect against the sun, you know. My awning doesn't cause any troubles here whatsoever. My awning is not a problem. Yet, this is forbidden. This is criminal activity that needs to be punished. <laughs> do, do, you, do you understand? Do you, do you understand why I am in a hurry to get away from this country? I really, really do not like Spain and I cannot stress that enough. Having said that, me and my cat, we will spend one or two nights here uh, just for a pause. I'll catch you later when we leave this place where having an awning out is illegal activity. What are you saying, Vaiskin? <laughs> Change of plan. I'll have to come back to you in the next video. Because this video is getting fucking long. <laughs> but I have some cool stuff lined up in the next videos. So don't miss out. Stay tuned. Ciao.